heart pumping for you, man. Me too. <laughs> Take it off. Hopefully. Sound good. Gear up. For some reason, the gear didn't actually go up. So once I notice it, I have to cycle them, and then they go up the next time. my gear. What do you have for, right? I'm just looking to see if my gear is up or down. Well, it's not down. There, now it's up. back and we'll take it out of safe on the way back. You were safe? That was safe. When I watched this video, I felt a little bit bad because my fellow pilots, I might have been a little bit short with them. What happened here was my radio started to beep to me, and then I think my battery is going flat. I start to panic a little bit. I start to go into high alpha here, and so I'm hoping I can make it back. This is my first landing ever with this plane. And I'm thinking if my battery's flat, I'm not going to get another chance. So I'm really focusing on sticking it the first time. So I apologize uh, to anybody that I was rude to. I was really hoping to take the F-16 for another flight because I have two of these packs. I also have this Jens Ace 5000, but uh, one of these packs is a little, uh, a little more sluggish than the other one, and I'm not sure which one it is, so I need to mark that. I have a feeling it was the one I did the Maiden in, 
Um, I couldn't do another flight with it because what happened was, I don't know if it was on the landing or when, but that little clevis right there, uh, I busted it on the other side here. And so that bay door was left open and wouldn't shut. So s soon we will get uh, another flight on it here and see how the other batteries do. Uh, change we're making for the next flight is the elevator. I went from the second hole down, uh, that's where it was, uh, to the top hole to give us a little more throw in the elevator as well in the ailerons. I'm going to go from the third hole down where they had it from factory and put it in the very last hole on the top there just to give us a little tighter roll rate. 